Hi, my name is John Sue. Welcome to the Naked Real Estate Series. How to buy rental properties like a naked boss. Today's topic is what's the best type of property to buy for investment? And you know what really I always hear that question, what's the best this, what's the best that? And like I mentioned in my previous videos, the best is a different for every t uh, type of person. It really depends on a lot of factors. But I've really boiled it down to uh, two factors that I think will help you answer what's the best property for you. Number one a factor is what can you afford? Hey, everybody likes to drive Mercedes, but not everybody can afford Mercedes, correct? So it's just like apartment buildings. Can't afford apartment building? Well, that's off the list. It's really first, what can you afford? And number two is how much time do you actually got or how do you plan on managing the properties? Personally, I think learning property management is an essential skill for owning rental properties. You never want to be at the mercy of rental properties because you can't do the job and you have to rely on them to do it. In all honesty, property management is simple. You have a system, you don't even need them. You can do it. You can do a full-time job. Like I remember one time, I had a full-time job uh, doing sales. It was still commission self-employed. But I was managing at the top 23 properties. And you know what? when they're rented, all you got to do is deposit the check. And when stuff gets uh, broken down, you just call the handyman and go fix it. But it really is not that much work. So really two things. What can you afford? And how do you plan on managing the property or can you actually manage it? So let's talk about different types of properties. Uh, for example, stuff with basement suites or fourplexes, which have great cash. Um, but what, uh, I guess, an unintended or unknown, I guess, uh, bad thing about it is, it's more renters to deal with. And typically, when you have something like a basement suite or, or lower end rentals, it just uh, attracts more difficult tenants. Uh, more, they're more, uh, I guess, demanding, um, they're just much more difficult tenants. So yeah, that's one thing people don't realize about basement suites. Like for myself, for example, people who live in basement suites, nobody lives in a basement suite because they love to live there. They only live there by, uh, by default by, because that's the only thing they can afford. But once they earn enough money, they're getting the hell out of Dodge. Who the hell wants to live in a basement under somebody else with another family? Right? Most people don't. And anyone who can afford it, they're usually gone after the first year. Where typically stuff like single family, um, once you get it rented, people stay there for at least a year or two years, right? And they just stay there and rent, and when they're able to buy, then they'll buy in like three years. Typical rental uh, behavior is, is they'll rent for two to three years, then buy. So you know what? I would rather deal with one tenant, less hassles, less headaches, and basically have it rented rather than, than to deal with two renters. Sure, I'll get a little bit more extra cash for a few hundred bucks. But you know, a few hundred bucks ain't going to change my life. But when you have a renter bitching and whining, or it's vacant and you got to show it, you know what? For me personally, it affects my quality of life. And that's something I would rather not do. And in my personal opinion, the real cash on residential investment rental properties is made in the price that you sell it for and buy it for. Cash flow, to me, is kind of like sprinkles on the Sunday. Be great to have it. You know, it's awesome that you have it, but it, you know, it doesn't really make that big of a difference. So yeah, that's my thoughts on what's the best type of property, and thank you for watching my video.